it was a theatre production. It, it did great at the festival. Adam was absolutely fabulous, um, starring with Nishla Kaplan in the original production. We took it to London, we took it to New York, and then we've had this, this opportunity to bring it to TV. And it's incredibly exciting to take this theatre production that was done by two performers. Um, the, first, the first time around, it was me and Nesha Kaplan. Uh, both of us performing two sides of Adam as well as the rest of the characters, like the mom, the dad, and so many other characters. And then the second time around, I performed with uh, Rahana McDonald. And it's, it's incredibly exciting to take this um, theatre production and turn it into a film. You know, I, th I think there's a lot of questions just now about where does theatre end, where does TV start? And I think that's something that we're all exploring, to be honest. I, I don't think those are, there's really hard uh, defined rules. But what's been lovely for us is we, we still set it in a, a, a space. We've not gone to, as it were, real locations. So there's, there's still a theatricality in uh, where Adam is. It's kind of in his brain and, and we're in this one room and he still experiences this these extraordinary events within that that one space but what you can do with camera uh, that you can't necessarily do on a stage is is get you know right in you're getting right into that person's eyes those massive close-up shots of which we can't quite access on stage in the same way we've been able to expand the cast because before it was just two people on stage playing all the characters in his life. Performing like, for example, in a theatre production, when I performed as, as Glaswegian Adam, but also as the dad and as the bad guy, it was all from my perspective. I think it was something completely different when I got to be on the side of just Adam and have those performers you know, do this, these character, those characters such as the, the mom and the dad. And I think it gave it an entirely new flavor, a new perspective to the story. And I believe it also gave me a fresh perspective to how I saw those exact same characters. And I think just working with uh, Louise Lockwood, who's the co-director of Adam, she's brought her, she's a, a documentary filmmaker, a brilliant one. Um, I've obviously come more from the theater background, but I think combined we've, um, we've got skill sets that, that are, are kind of just meeting right in the middle and interweaving. And that's been really exciting learning from each other. Nothing changes without spilling blood. You can't force me home if the only way to be safe is to hide what I am. I hope audiences will take away an understanding. I hope they will just watch this story, watch this human in front of them. It's Adam telling you about his life. I hope that whoever watches it tries to understand, listen, see, and accept us as we are. Um, because we are, we are misjudged, stereotyped, um, neglected, disrespected in a lot of parts of the world. I think anybody who has seen the stage play um, can't help but go on that journey with Adam and, and learn a lot about what it is for someone who is born with, with a, a mismatch within their being and their, their body and, and the journey of bravery that they have to go on to, to make these things um, live in harmony. Mm -hmm.